Hey guys, it's Kami and today I'll try to explain the basics of gathering to you. Brace yourself, prepare for a long video with overflowing information. Firstly, what do you need in order to start gathering? Actually nothing but free energy to spare. Though that will work out only for some types of gathering. Others will require tools. So what can you gather without tools? Herbs, crops, vegetables, fruits, thickets, some buffs, potions and other items. Now what can you gather with tools? Using pickaxe you can get coal, ores, crystals and similar stuff. With axe you can get logs by chopping different trees. With fluid collector you can get blood from different species and sap from different trees. By using butchery knife you can get meat from different animals. And by using tanning knife you can get leather, feather or fur from different animals. Empty bottles can be used to collect water. With shovel you can get mud or various materials from sand in desert. And finally by using hoi you can gather herbs, crops, vegetables and some fruits. But wait Kami, you say that I can collect them with bare hands? Why would I need to use the hoi then, you would ask? And that's a great question. You see, I don't have the exact percentage, but by gathering those with bare hands you have something like 70% chance to gather with instead of what you wanted to, something like 15% chance to get what you aimed for, and final 15% chance to get both weeds and what you actually gathered. Weeds themselves are actually very useful and can be used in many alchemy recipes. And even more, the base gathering time with hands is faster than with simple hoe. Well, Kami, I don't get now even more why do I need a hoe then, you would say. Well, yes, it is quite complicated, but listen. With hoe you have like 90% chance to get what you aimed for and in greater amounts than with bare hands. 7% along with weeds and 3% chance to get weeds only. Even more so, you can get a seed from different plants, but not all. I definitely won't list all of them. In any case, you need seeds for planting those plants in garden, which is a whole another story for a different video. Also some plants you cannot gather with hoe, like some fruits and thickets. The last ones can yield you weeds and some random seeds. It is not the only one random thing though, there are wild herbs, which also give you some random herbs. But with hoe you will get the actual herbs from them, not weeds which if you gather them with hands will be given to you like at 95% chance or something like that. If that all sounds way too complicated for you, and it probably is, then just get a hoe and collect few plants with hands, few with hoe to get the idea yourself. And to finalize gathering with hands, as I said you can gather buffs, potions and other items. So what are those and where can you get them? Those buffs are in form of scrolls that give you some different boosts for 10 minutes. So the most common ones are plus 5% X, plus 1 luck and PvP SP regeneration, health regeneration, less common bonus attack, bonus death and probably I have forgot something else as well. You can get those scrolls not only by gathering but they are also given as a reward for different quests. And also some of those exchangeable items that you draw from mobs can be exchanged not only for silver, but also for those buffs. Potions that you can gather are either health or mana. As for the other items, those include lots of different materials and fishes. So where can you get all of those? Actually almost everywhere. From campfires, meat racks, chests, bottles, boxes and some other random stuff that you can find in this game. It doesn't have 100% chance to get you something out of it, but those that give buffs have almost 100% chance and all the other ones varies depending on what items you can loot from them. I would say it is approximately starting from 15% chance for potions and ending somewhere close to 70% chance for different raw materials. Those percentages are based only on my own experience, so for you they might be different. When you will get close to things that you can gather, except water and sand, you will see a gathering icon that means that you can gather something from them. But after you or some other player lose something from it, then you and every other player won't be able to gather it again for a certain period of time. Which varies for different things, not even to mention that some of those will disappear, for example animals, if you will kill them, gather something from their corpse, then their corpse will disappear and you will need to kill another animal again. 
and know that this thing is valid for both gathering with tools and hands, except the water and sand, for obvious reason. Though on the other hand it might not be that obvious for some players, as you could think that gazillion of players with bottles can take all the water out of some puddle, but this is not the case. And also note that you can't get water from puddles formed by the rain. Ok, now I have also mentioned base gathering time. What is that? That is the time you gather specific thing with tools or without in seconds. With tools it is based on the tool itself, the better tool the faster you will gather. There are also other tools with different perks, like luck increase for example. In order to use better tools you will need to level up your gathering skill, which is obviously raised by gathering. You can get more gathering eggs by wearing enhanced gathering suit and also buy some buffs, for example suit tea that you can cook or buy from other players on market. Also you will get more gathering eggs when you will get something better from it. As a simple example when you collect something from thickets, if you get weeds, then you will receive a small amount of gathering eggs. But if you will get some seed from it, then it will be approximately 10-20 times more eggs than with weeds, depending on the rarity of seed. Pretty much the same thing goes for other gathering as well. I mean that gathering eggs depends on what you get from your gathering, but there is really not a whole lot you can do about that other than some tools that increase the probability of better outcome. And luck stat in my experience does not influence on outcome. Also getting expensive tools that have a better chance ain't really worth it as leveling gathering skill or professional level 5 gives no benefits at all. Maybe in future there will be some better tools that will require more than that or some additional perks for the gathering level, but for now that's how it is. Tools themselves you can get in various ways, simple ones can be bought from material NPC, but the other ones you can either get as a reward for different quests or craft or buy from other players on market. I'll teach you how to craft in one of the future videos. You can increase your gathering speed even more by increasing gathering speed stat, obviously enough. It can be increased by cash up costume, by suit that you can get as a quest reward or craft or buy on market from other players by potions which can be made with alchemy or bought from other players on market, by food which you can cook or buy on market from other players, by wild buff, and finally by different event buffs. Hopefully haven't missed anything and you quest it right, future videos. Here you can see and compare yourself few different base speeds combined with different gathering speed. As in case of fishing with a rod, which I have explained it in that video, going over plus 5 gathering speed won't grant any visible benefits, but getting plus 5 gathering speed is really noticeable, so keep that in mind. Also same type food buffs does not stack, but override each other. All different gathering can yield you some rare materials, for example by chopping trees you can get monk's branch, spirit sleeve, etc, etc. They are not specific to tree type and can be received from any tree. I will clearly not mention here all the possible materials that you can get. Other than that, while gathering you can come across trading items that can be sold to trading NPC. Some of those can be gained only by gathering, but others can be dropped from mobs as well. If you have played Black Desert at least a bit then you have surely dropped at least few of them. So those you can sell for silver and trading eggs as well. I will explain trading a bit more detailed expectedly in some future video. And also there are two rare materials, given not from specific gathering, but from any gathering at all, solid and pointed black crystal sculptures. Though I have to mention that I haven't got even a single one while gathering something with hands, bottles or shovel, but maybe that's just my luck. Anyway, those rare materials are highly priced and used to craft concentrated magical black stones which in their turn can be used to enhance your gear, except accessories, over plus 15. Other than buying them from other players, gathering is for the most part the only way to get them in this game, at least for now. Even though there are a few high-end processing quests that give them as a reward, they are not repeatable. Ok, sounds awesome, right? 
Yes, gathering is one of the most profitable thing you can do in the game, but you should not forget that it consumes energy, which is also required for many other things. I have talked about few of those in Bedou Basics video number 1. You can check it out over there. If you will be super stoked on gathering and will not want to do anything else, then check out my previous video about energy recovery, it might help you quite a lot. Sort of. Also the thing worth to be noted that you will not hear in that video about the energy is that while gathering there is 5% chance to not use energy and durability of tool at all. So know that if you will do any calculations regarding energy and gathering. For example, if you will want to calculate out if Blessing of Kamasil is a worthwhile investment for you. As for me, it definitely is and I firstly wanted to show you my calculations, but then I ended up with luck related factors, processing, crafting and the difference of price is so huge, not even to mention that material prices change from update to update. So in the end I decided to cut out that part. But if you are still interested with what I ended up, it was that 12 hours worth of energy regenerated by Blessing of Kamasil is equal to the price of the Blessing itself. That's of course excluding the base energy regeneration and marketplace fees. As I can leave my character online for a whole lot more time than that in 15 days and invest that energy into gathering, for me it definitely covers the price. But then you also need to take time spent on gathering into consideration and compare that to your mob farming outcome. 99% of you won't do that for sure, so just buy it if you like gathering. Now that you know about energy limitation, what's the rate at which you can get black crystal sculptures? Unfortunately, I haven't come across reliable info on that, but from my own experience, average is approximately 170. It doesn't mean that you will surely get one in 170 times you gather, no, sometimes I get complete zero from over 300 times I gather, sometimes I get up to 7, I believe that was the maximum amount I got, by average, I mean average. As for how much of pointed black crystal sculptures I got compared to solid, well, approximately 1 to 9. So in 10 drops, on average, I get 9 solid and 1 pointed. But in reality it is a bit different, most of the time I get like 2-3 pointed in a row and then don't come across even a single one in few days. If you're new on this channel and don't know me, I'm quite an unlucky person, so probably your race will be at least a bit better, but if not, then welcome to the club. Even without sculptures, gathering is very profitable if you know what you do and almost all prices on materials and things you can do from them via processing and crafting. But about those I will explain in some future videos. One more thing that I would like to point out is that I never get black crystal sculptures when I gather something here and there periodically, literally, never. I get them only when I gather for few minutes in a row, it doesn't really matter if I gather only one thing or different, just without a break. First sculpture that I got was somewhere around professional level 4 or 5, which is exactly the time when I firstly started to gather extensively for more than half an hour. And when you level up your gathering skill you will get the idea that it is quite a lot. And finally there is a hedgehog pet, about which I have mentioned in my other video right over there, and it supposedly gathers same thing as you once every 5 minutes, but I don't own one of those, so I can't really verify how exactly they work. If I forgot to tell you something or you have left your questions unanswered, then don't forget to ask those questions in the comment section below, I'll try to keep answering all of those or even someone else can do so, and if there will be a whole lot of those questions then I might do another video answering those. And that's about it for this video, if you haven't closed it cause of overflowing info, then as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.